No, don't do it. Don't sell your house until you've listened to this video because one of the top things I regret in my life is selling my investment properties. So let's get into it. If you are thinking of selling, you, pro you are probably talking to other realtors out there. You're watching YouTube videos and you're trying to time the market thinking, wow, look at all this money I've made on my house. Maybe I should sell, maybe rent for a little while while, and then jump back into the market. And if you are talking to other realtors, they're probably going to tell you, yeah, we're at top of the market since we've had seen crazy appreciation. And yes, we have seen crazy appreciation here in Eugene, Oregon. We have seen in the past five year period, a remarkable gain since the average home price increased from 350,000 to currently 445,000, which is almost a hundred thousand dollar gain. But is selling your house a good decision long-term? Before we get into some reasons why not to sell, let's talk about some situations that might make sense to sell in today's market. I've had some of my clients who've had recent deaths in their family, whether a, a mother, a loved one, or a sibling passes away. They've inherited a house, it's in a trust, and the parties just want to sell, split the proceeds, and move on. And of course, that makes sense for a lot of families. Other good reasons to sell the house are if you're going through a divorce and you need to split the assets, or if you have to move for relocation and you just don't want the hassle of renting out a house that's in a different state, or if you lose your job, or if the house you're in right now just you just can't afford, it's just too expensive, you've got yourself in over your head. All of those things could make really good sense for reasons to sell in today's market. But what I like to focus on are clients who are calling, who are saying, hey, Carolyn, I think we're top of the market. I'm getting really nervous. Should I put my home on the market? I'm getting really nervous. Those conversations are fear, uncertainty, and doubt, and they are motivated by fear. And that's what I wanna warn you against in today's video is fear. So see, back in 2005, I owned multiple investment properties. And at that same time, I became a single mom to my son, Nicholas. His father left while I was pregnant and never returned. So I was worried if I would have enough money to take both care of my newborn and work full time. So I sold my investment properties to, to receive a little bit of stress relief. But that probably was the biggest mistake I've made financially. If I would have just helped held on to those investment properties, just held them for like 10 years, I would have had both passive income and financial leverage since all those properties tripled in price. Now the goal of this is not to be rich, but I just want to warn you against selling in fear. If you want to sell your house because it makes sense, okay, fine. But if you are selling your house to time the market, I am going to warn you against doing so because when you do sell your house, there are a ton of costs. There's a lot of closing costs. You've got hassle costs. You've got moving costs. You've got inconvenience costs, lots of costs involved. So it's not as clean as everybody thinks it is. And remember when you go to sell your home, there is this thing called capital gains tax. Now, if you're filing jointly on your taxes, you get $500,000 deduction. And if you are filing single, you have a $250,000 deduction if you have lived in the house three out of the five years. Now, listen up. This is really important. And that is if you were to do an equity line of credit or second on your house, the money you take out of your property is not taxable. So you can use that money, go make a down payment with that money, and you're still left with your primary residence and the new house that you can move into. Rent your primary residence out, get a little cash flow, help you pay for the new house, and now you're starting to create passive income, right? If you take a second on your house or an equity line of credit, realize the rates are out outrageous right now, but realize you are more than likely to have a very low rate on your primary residence or your departing 
property. So when you go to rent it out, you're going to be pretty much astonished at how much money you're going to get on your rent. And that's going to create cash flow for you, which might make up the gap of the new house. You know, this is short term pain for long term gain, right? So it might be tight for a little bit, but if you have the finances and the reserves to make it happen, it might make sense for you. So I'm just encouraging you to do the math. So don't make the decision to sell your house out of fear, uncertainty, and doubt. No, 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 not good. Oh, I forgot to introduce myself. My name is Carolyn Stepp. I am one of the top selling agents here in Eugene, Oregon. So if you are looking for some really good advice, you know who to contact. Just simply book a time on my calendar for a complimentary call. And if you say, no, Carolyn, we're selling the house. This is what we're comfortable with. Then I'm going to tell you now more than ever, you need to make your house look beautiful and present your house in move in ready condition. You need to take extra steps in our current market since total market time has increased in Eugene to 80 days on market. Yet if your house is staged and priced correctly, like the homes we sell at Smart Living, it can go under contract in a week. So hiring the right representation is important. I was on the internet this morning looking for houses for sale and I am disappointed pointed that some of these agents are not putting the time and the money into presenting the house in the best light possible. Your agent should take the initiative to help you stage your house and take professional photography. There's literally an agent on their cell phone taking pictures of the house. I mean, it's just so unprofessional. Buyers are very savvy and love to shop online. They are not going to come visit your house unless it looks good and worth their time. So make sure you have an agent that knows how to advise you wisely. As always, I would love to be a resource for you. Simply book a complimentary call for a time that works for you using my calendar link. Thank you for watching.